Hi guys, Victoria here from Lifetime Story Photography. So if you had a problem where your QuickTime player didn't work properly, like you haven't had a sound, then I can show you a very quick and fast fix. I wanted to do a tutorial on my photography, but I wasn't, when I went back and I checked the video, didn't have sound. So I went on YouTube. I looked for as many tutorials as I could. They were useful. The problem is that they didn't went straight to subject and some information was in one and some information was in the other one, probably older. And then the new version of the Max are newer, so I will show you how I fix that. Um, so I will share my screen with you. I'm making myself smaller. And pretty much when you go to your quick player, you go to find your quick player. You go there, uh, you go cancel, and then you go file new screen now here you have the option where you will choose before let me say that before you had the option where you had a little screen recording preview coming on your screen now with the new mac pretty much you have capture a picture of your screen or select your option uh, select your screen recording portion or let's record the entire thing so we push that and then you can press record. But before you do that, you go to option and you really have to click this MacBook Book Pro tick. Now, previously I followed another tutorial and they told me to download the Sunflower 64 and I tried to download twice. And there is a um, tutorial there where you go through the steps. But now with the new Mac, you don't need to do that anymore. Pretty much you just go straight click on this and then you push record and your screen will start recording you will see it right here in this little square now if we open a picture um, you can do your tutorials explain what you have to do um, how you do the changes that's not rocket science you already know then you come here and you say stop. In the moment when you stopped it, you press play. The recording, you'll see it right here in this little. Yes, you got that. So now you will press X and the, um, your tutorial will be saved on the screen. And why it was saved on the screen? Because on QuickTimer, if we go again, new screen recording, on your option, you can choose the location um, where you want to save it, desktop and QuickTime player, um, and it will save automatically wherever you want. So we don't want to record, it's on capture. So if you leave it, capture the entire screen and you did that, pretty much it makes a screenshot of your screen. There you go. And then you can save it wherever you want, but I don't wanna do that. So let me close that and delete. Yeah, so easy peasy. Just select that microphone option and you'll be good to go. So I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and see you next time. Bye.